This film supplements the instructions for use and serves to aid understanding. This film is not a substitute for reading and understanding the instructions for use. It is also not a replacement for mandatory instructions or training courses. To maintain readiness of the PSS Airboss, all shoulder and waist straps should be fully extended. To don the SCBA, put the carrying system on one shoulder first, followed by the other. Close the buckle of the waist belt and pull, ensuring the set sits comfortably on your hips. Finally, tighten the shoulder straps, leaving a space between the shoulder and the harness to allow freedom of movement. When positioned correctly, you should be able to reach over your head without any problem. The waist belt should be able to pivot with your movements. Your coat should not be pulled up when bending down. The weight of the SCBA should be on your hips, not your shoulders. Extend the straps of the full face mask head harness. Place the chin part of the mask on your face, then gently push onto your face and adjust it by pulling the lower strap straight back first and pulling the upper straps afterwards. Ensure that the middle strap is centered at the top of your head. Reset the LDV by pressing the red button. Slowly and fully open the cylinder valve anti-clockwise. During pressurization, a momentary sounding of the whistle will occur. The monitoring system switches on and starts its self-test. When the self-test completes successfully, the Connect ECU displays the startup menu. To use the Read Card function, present the card when the Read Card symbol is displayed. Your identification is displayed. Acknowledge that this information is correct. To perform an HP leak test, click the left-hand button when presented with this screen. Next, close the cylinder valve. Acknowledge this by clicking the left-hand button. the automatic HP leak test is passed. Next, connect the LDV to the full face mask. Breathe normally while monitoring the gauge. Once the gauge shows 60 to 50 bar, the low pressure warning whistle should sound and the pass device sounds an alert and its red LED starts flashing. Continue breathing until the pressure gauge shows zero bar. Inhale and hold your breath. There must be no noticeable air ingress, otherwise check the mask fit. Open the cylinder again. Once the pressure gauge shows zero bar, the pass device should go into full alert. At the end of an SCBA operation, the cylinder needs to be closed and the SCBA needs to be fully depressurized. The Connect ECU needs to be switched off by pressing and holding both buttons until the battery symbol is shown. 
Otherwise, the Connect ECU device will stay active and go into motionless alarm once left alone.